today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is the National Football League. Taking on the Houston Texans. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the New York Jets. we go from MetLife Stadium. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. up the gut and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it you've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those they were not being moved off the line kept their shoulders square and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain second down and eight here's Rodgers to throw we're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. But Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon. And what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Ruckert. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 39 yards there, a big one. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Second and seven. Again, it's Cook. 
And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Seven yards there at a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. No, th that's the right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here's Tank Dell to return it from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. A man coming off a great rookie year. It's Damian Pierce. A gain of three, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And they'll come up second and seven. Stroud. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Stroud to throw it. That is caught, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and 10. Stroud will look to throw once more. Throw here is incomplete. 
The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 45-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. They run with the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Here's Stroud. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got it second down and 12. Stroud. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Give him 32 on the play. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Dialed up the fullback dive that time. We'll see what they go to on third down from the walk. Yeah, they may have dialed it up, but it was repelled, wasn't it? <laughs> do you wag a finger back at the offense like, like a certain iconic NBA guy did back in the day, or do you just say, try it again, guys? No, I think they wag the finger, but they got to get one more stop here, maybe two. Singletary. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This Jet defense so far standing tall. They need another stop now, third and goal. Singletary again, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, 
Texans. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Texans are an extra point away from drawing level. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Aaron Rodgers in the offense heading back out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. Wilson and he'll be taken down right away up near midfield at the 47 a good pick up there 22 certainly no settling into the drive there they came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. They work now on second and nine. Motion man left is Lazard. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard. But they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. here on fourth and inches and he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage and hold on here because on that last run it looks like we have a player who was shaken up we'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium Get it. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, it's Stroud. His throw incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. Here goes Stroud again. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The lessons will continue of this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Stroud now to throw. This will be complete to Mechie. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Complete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense and now they get to turn it back to their offense. Now on fourth down it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep Alex Erickson. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. now on first down. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Rodgers now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cobb. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Rodgers dancing to his left. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. now on first down setting up the screen for Cook and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line a good first down call as the screen play gets him nine and good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block that might set your man free and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively or it could have gone for more just need a yard here second and one throwing now is Rodgers a short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw, it's Rodgers. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll run for it. Cook. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Talvin Cook turned away on fourth down, and this Texans defense stands tall. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing now is Stroud. And the Jets pressure two notches. Down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed but they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, 
Let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. A run by Pierce begins the second half. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Stroud looking to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Quentin Jefferson. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses could wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Third down and very long. A shotgun snap to Stroud. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for Houston. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Jets will take over first and 10. So here's the Jets offense now, as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Rodgers going to throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. 
An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense for the Jets ready to take over. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They start the drive with Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Throwing is Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant.
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They run the counter with Cook. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 54 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. They run again on first down. Cook, a short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. From the 29, here's second and nine. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Brees Hall. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got a man here, it's Wilson. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson, 27 yards. And the Jets have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and we are tied at 14. one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Stroud, a short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
from the 33. Here's second down at seven. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. The Texans on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. Stroud working out of the gun. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. Jets will take over. And New York set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Shaquille Griffin in on the stop defensively. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's a second and five. They run it again with Cook. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? They'll come up now, third and three. Now it's Rodgers. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. For the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 36. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. 68 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Here's Rodgers. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. First target, first catch, and a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. down here's the run with Cook and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now a second and two. To throw is Rodgers. And incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation. This is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Got a man hits him in stride and the Jets are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two well they've had a great impressive drive going here and that pickup ensures the drive continues and not only do you continue the drive which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now but you make your own defense happy they're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got it first and goal, looking to take the lead here in the late going. Here's first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal from inside the five. Cook is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. Cook. Yeah, he pushed forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Zerline's kick is up and through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one, to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So Stroud and the Texans down 17-14, a little under a minute to go. They need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. to throw it. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. In 
inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. Here's Stroud. Got his man, it's Woods. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. All right, they picked up yardage, but they've got to get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They've got one timeout left. Want to save it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. Now Stroud. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Kaimi Fairbairn out for the field goal try for the Texans. This to potentially send us to overtime. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.